Greetings everyone, Rich Grogan here. Hope you're having a terrific day. So let's talk a little bit about self-discipline. And what is self-discipline? It's a tough word, right? Well, essentially self-discipline is doing what you need to do when you said you're going to do it, regardless if you feel like doing it or not. So oftentimes self-discipline is only when we feel like having self-discipline. That's pretty much just self-choice. Like, well, I want to do this, but you know, I'm going to make an excuse why I'm not going to do it because I just don't feel like it today. Well, self-discipline, you said, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this thing. Now, just like anything else, that's easier said than done. And I'm just as guilty as anybody else. But what I found and what I've been doing research on and reading, 85% of the most successful people in the world said the only thing that separates what they do and what the average person does is they have self-discipline. They do what they say they're going to do when they say they're going to do it. And once again, easier said than done. I get that. But write those things down. Okay, if you say you're going to do something, do everything you can to make it happen instead of making an excuse. And by doing that, you're going to get closer and closer to your goal every single day instead of putting it off, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, as we know, tomorrow may never come. And of course, the more you put it off, <laughs> tomorrow will never come. Now, I get it. You may listen to me or you may read a book or you may go to a webinar and you're all jacked and excited. Hey, I'm going to start losing weight. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to start self-educating more by reading more and take that advancement at work or open my own company. Whatever. You feel good about it. And then, of course, the next day comes along. And that's when self-discipline really needs to kick in. If you say today, I'm going I'm to eat better. I'm going to eat better and I'm going to the gym then follow through on it. Now the reward, not only are you going to feel better about yourself, but that's going to build the confidence to help you again with self-discipline. So when tomorrow comes, you think, yeah, well, I don't know if I want to do this today. Well, if you've done it once, that self-discipline is going to help you do it again and do it again and do it again. And that's how habits are formed, which essentially is what self-discipline is. It's conditioning yourself to form good habits. Now, as we know, uh, good habits, boy, they're hard to make, easy to break. Bad habits, very easy to make and very hard to break. And I keep saying it, but that's where self-discipline comes in. So use this anywhere in your life, any area you can think of. But self-discipline is, once again, and maybe say this after I'm done, is doing what you need to do when you need to do it, regardless if you feel like doing it or not. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks, as always, for listening. You get out there and have a terrific day. Do your best. And as always, I promise you'll be your best. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.